Hello, I'm Larry Springer, state representative from the 45th Legislative District. The 45th District includes parts of Kirkland, Sammamish, Redmond, and the cities of Woodenville and Duval. I want to talk to you this week about a few government efficiency bills that I have been working on over the last couple of weeks. But before I do that, I just want to share a sort of touching story that we had here in Olympia today. Every couple of years, we have a memorial service for all of the former state representatives and senators who have passed away over the last couple of years. We had one today, it's the first one in a couple of years, and we honored the memory of about 30 or so past representatives and senators in a candlelight vigil in the Senate. So something that we don't really look forward to, but is really touching to experience when we go through it. That said, let's move on to a little bit of legislation. Uh, this last couple of weeks, uh, I introduced a, a couple of bills dealing with county assessors. Uh, not exactly a sexy topic, admittedly, but the bills would allow county assessors to stop doing property valuation projects on property that's publicly owned. There's no point in doing that since they're not on the tax rolls, so it just removes the requirement that they go through the valuation process. Uh, saves them a little bit of time and money. Secondly, it allows assessors to send out property valuation notices electronically instead of mailing them. Now, if people want to get them by mail, they'll still be able to, but it does allow the assessors to do it electronically, saving, you know, in King County's case, saving them uh, tens of thousands of dollars worth of postage every year. I also want to mention a efficiency bill that really deals with school districts. Right now, a lot of our school districts own property that they have purchased in some cases years ago, maybe decades ago, anticipating future student growth and the need for a new school building. And in the meantime, property boundaries have changed and some of those pieces of property lay outside of the urban growth area and the Growth Management Act right now precludes building schools outside of the urban growth line, even though the school districts own the property. I've introduced a bill that would allow school districts, if they can demonstrate that there's a need for the school and that the population is there to support it, and that if by building in that area it does not spur further growth, then they would be allowed to use the property they already have. It saves them thousands of dollars, uh, in some cases millions of dollars, uh, in terms of the cost of bu buying the same amount of land inside a city someplace. So uh, this will, I think, be a somewhat controversial bill, but we're going to work on it and see if we can't make land acquisition a little cheaper for schools. So uh, again, thanks for listening. Uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to call me. My contact information is on the screen, and I look forward to chatting with you again in a couple of weeks. Thanks a lot.